At Christmas time, one of the most celebrated festive songs is Ave Maria. It's been covered by hundreds of people throughout the world, time and time again. Every year a new version comes out. But I go back to Maria Callas. I go back to the opera Bach. And I go back to her version of Ave Maria because simply for me, it's the purest in delivery, in vocal aestheticness that you would just listen to and think, wow, an angel has landed in front of me. The male equivalent for me would be Jonathan Antoine's version. And I feature Jonathan a lot on my channel. So he's done a Christmas song and I put a video together for him to make it a visual. And I will attach it to this to give you a double festive Christmas, well, how can I say, musical experience of male and female singing two songs that should make you feel calm, relaxed, and if not happy, will make you feel positive. It's one of those songs that touches the soul and just transcends you from being depressed and from being angry or whatever dark mood that you might be in and lifts you spiritually. It really does. It always does that. Now, Ave Maria has a history to it because a lot of people don't know about the actual. It was a prayer. First of all, the Ave Maria prayer. Both words are Latin and mean Hail Mary, which is Hello Maria. At the same time, it's also called the basic prayer in the Catholic Church to Mary, Maria, the mother of Jesus Christ. Ave is originally a Punic, which was spoken in Carthage on the northern edge of Africa, and it's originally meant live, okay. The Ave Maria actually is a prayer, a special. Already in the 11th century, the first part of this Ave Maria was prayed in prayers in the so-called Our Prayer. It consists of two parts, as late as some 500 years later, Pope Pius V had added something, namely the request for assistance in the hour of death. The Ave Maria, by the way, is one of the most widely spoken prayers in Christianity, after the Lord's Prayer, of course, and it's also part of the Angelus and the Rosary. An Eastern Church version and Western Church version developed that is to say, there are two different texts in Latin and in Greek. And that means the translations into German are, of course, different too. More specifically to the point, and a lot of additional background on this prayer is available all over the internet. But I've given you specifics in relation to the Ave Maria history. Now, Felix Meldenser and it's Bath Aldry. He too composed Heaven Like Music, which bases on works by Jonathan Sebastian Bach, including the Ave Maria. Now, the Ave Maria and Charles Gnaud connection. There is no doubt what composer Charles Gnaud, the French master, has composed and added, so to speak, on Johann Sebastian's foundation. It's the most known, better, most famous Ave Maria. How enthusiastic Gnaud was about the creativity of Thomas Cantor and his work is the question by Frenchman about John Sebastian Bach. Bach quotes part three and sort of in the middle of the page. Here you can read it, which I'm going to now. Gnaud added a few beats, by the way, then he composed his own work on this, or to the melody by John Sebastian Bach. It's precisely this piece of music, still without text, that is the work of two great composers of their time. And a few years later, more precisely, seven years later, it would become the Ave Maria as we know it today. They speak a sort of hybrid composition in music, and amongst connoisseurs, Gnaud featured Bach, would it probably be hip and cool? 
Now Charles Gnaud, one half of the music dream team back Gnaud for Ave Maria as we know it today, took one more artist, as in the collaboration that took place, to make it what it is. Now, what do you understand today under the Ave Maria von Bach when you speak of the Ave Maria of the classical music? Actually, there is the Ave Maria of Bach, which we are going to hear Maria Callas sing in a minute. There are many lovers of the music of John Sebastian Bach who answer the question whether Ave Maria is from him or not with a clear but not quite correct no. And yet they somehow, they are somehow right. First of all, the work of Ave Maria as we know it today is not yet complete because back then, that is to say in 1852, no artist sang it and no one spoke of this piece of music as the Ave Maria. What John Sebastian Bach and Charles Gnaud created together was initially pure instrumental. As late as 1859 finally completed what we now call the Ave Maria. In fact, the text, which is not so very important to us today, was added which however began with the two words of a Maria and thus gave the entire art of work its name from 1859 onwards. The compositions of the two composers Bach and Gnaud and finally the text resulted from this very moment the title of a Maria. When Jacques Leopold Hugel added the well-known Latin prayer as we know it today. So there's your background to Ave Maria. We're simply just going to listen to Maria Callas sing her version of the back of Ave Maria. I hope you enjoy it. I wish you whatever is left of the festive season. Happy holidays to you all. And may 2024 be a peaceful, loving year for each and every one of us. Amen to that. Thank you for listening. I look forward to your company in 2024 and a whole year of new underrated artists again waiting for your attention to join my channel and listen to what they have to offer you. But in the meantime, this is what I have to offer all of you in thanks.
Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and join me in 2024 where more of Maria Callas will be featured and a host of other new exciting artists for your attention. Peace, love and happiness to all of you this festive season. Take care for now. Bye.